Welcome to Watercolor with Viv. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how I paint a dog's eye. The first thing I'm going to do is cover his iris with clear water. And I don't want it to be too, too wet, too sloppy, just a nice sheen of water. Then I'm going to come back in with a little bit of golden brown while it's wet and just drop it in there and let the water do the work. It's just pulling that paint all over and it's a beautiful golden brown color. Now notice I'm also avoiding the highlight and his pupil, which you can see drawn there in the center. I don't want to paint over those. I want to leave those white for now. I'm coming back with a really dark brown and blue mixture. It's dark blue and dark brown mixed together. And I'm going to just outline the very outer edge of his eye and up at the top where the shadow is, where his lid is actually shading his eyeball. And I want to do this while it's still wet because I really like the way it bleeds in. And you know how on irises, um, you can see the little striations of the muscle of the iris. Now we're going to do the other eye, same way, same technique, clear water. We're going to drop the golden brown in. We're going to avoid the pupil and the highlight. We're going to leave that white for now. And we're doing it while it's wet, wet on wet technique and spreading that all around the iris of his eye. And we're also going to go back with that same dark brown and outline the iris. I think this is just a little bit, I probably have this a little too watery, that's why it looks so pale, so I'll probably have to come back and darken that up eventually. I also want to make sure that I get the little shadow up at the top where his lid is kind of shading on his eye. And I want to pull some of this all around, get the shape back. You see where I, I made a little mistake. Not really a mistake, I just painted a little extra. And I'm pulling those lines up into the golden brown just to give a um, the hint of the striations. I'm adding a little more shadow. All I'm doing while it's still wet is dropping that golden brown in there and darkening it up a little bit. Now, the very next thing, there's, those are the eyes, and as you can see, they look a little different from each other, which is okay. The light is actually coming from this side over here with the one I'm working on. I'm going to come back in here and darken this up a little bit. Um, just around the edges, it's still wet, so it's blending nicely. Then I'm going to start on the pupil. Now, the pupil is the same mixture, but it's a little bit thicker. And when I say the same mixture, I mean the mixture of the dark blue and the dark brown. It's just a little bit thicker. It has less water in it. And as you see, I am avoiding the highlight and just painting the pupil with this dark color. I'm also trying to get in a little bit of shadow work up there near the, the lid where the lid is shading the actual eyeball. And just um, working that a little bit at a time, being really careful not to paint into my or over my highlight, the white highlight I want to keep. And I'm just going to touch up a few little spots on the other eye. As you can see, they're starting to come along. I'm liking it. Looking good. Now I'm going to go and do what I call the makeup. You know how some dogs look like they have makeup on? Well, that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of eyeliner. So I'm using the same mixture that I used for the pupil. And it is still a little thicker. I'm doing it straight onto the dry paper because I want it to stay exactly where I put it. I don't want it to bleed anywhere. I'm working in the, you know, on some detail. So it's a little bit dry. The paper is dry and the paint is thick. So it's wet, but it's a little toward the drier side, the thicker side. And I'm going to paint his cute little eyeliner all around and I'm leaving a little bit of space for the white part of his eye. I'm also leaving a little bit at the top of, um, without the black paint because that's going to be the highlight of his lid. And I'm just shaping up that eye a little bit more. Now I'm just taking a little clear water and brushing over that so that that highlight on his lid is not stark white. I wanted a little pale gray. I'm going to come to the other eye and work on her makeup on this side or his makeup and the little shadows. 
Well, this eye looks a is a little bit different of an angle, the way the dog's head is turned, so you can see his eyelashes a little better in the makeup on this side with the way he's turned his head. And I'm doing the same thing. It's really the thick uh, blue and dark brown mixture right on dry paper because I don't want it to bleed. I don't want it to spread out. I want it to be more detail work. So I'm doing the wet on dry and the paint is really thick. So it, it's not really wet either. It's just damp. And we're gonna work on his little eye, make him look cute. Get those Maybelline lashes going. And now we're just gonna turn it so that we can work on the upper lid and come back around. And it's starting to look really good. It's starting to actually look like some eyeballs. And I'm painting in a little bit more where I see it needs it. You know, you adjust. As you paint, you adjust. You keep looking at your reference photo and you adjust as you see where you need it as you go. Now I'm going to come back in and do the shadow work. I'm just using a dark brown here and putting the shadow actually onto his eyeball, the shadow from his lid, and pulling in a little bit, making a few of the little indentions or lines into the golden brown. And this is is um, dry on wet as well because I want it to pretty much stay where I put it. And I'm just pulling it up, giving the indication of the little striations, little muscle lines in the eyeball. And making sure that shadow is nice and dark at the top where that upper lid is shading it. And I want to round his eyeball up just a smidgen. And remember, when you're painting, you want to look at your reference more than you actually want to look at your painting. Now I'm going to go to the white of the eye, and I've just got a really pale gray, and I'm doing a little shadow on the white part of his eye, because the white of the eye isn't actually white. It's not stark white. It's actually more of a gray. Sometimes it has a little pink tinge to it. His has a little bit of a light gray tinge, so that's what I'm putting in there. I'm leaving a few areas white, the white of the paper, just so that it'll have some highlight, give it a little bit of life. Now in here there's just a little darker shadow, so while it's still wet, I'm just putting a little darker gray and then using the tip of my brush just to blend it into the lighter gray while it's wet. And just, fix, just making a few more shadows to the side and working on the shape of that shadow. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to come over here and put the pale gray on the white part of this eye. Same way. Now we're getting to the fun part. We're really going to start to make the eye look like an eye as far as it's in an actual being, living being. And all I do for the fur marks is I just take that same mixture, dry paper, and I just draw with my smallest brush. I, that's the number two and just draw tiny little tick marks or hatch marks, whatever you want to call them, just little dashes. Make sure that you, when you do these dashes, you're going in the same direction that the fur is actually growing or it'll look funny. So be really conscious of the way that the fur is growing from your reference photo. Don't have the fur going the wrong way. If it's not growing that way on the actual dog, don't paint it going a different way. <laughs> can't stress that enough because it does look silly and um, you just continue to deepen some of the shadows you keep working across going from eye to eye back and forth and eventually you will have some stunning eyes <laughs> so I hope this has been a little helpful to you thank you for watching I hope that you have enjoyed this small quick tutorial on how to paint a dog's eye. Now, if you need a little bit more or go a little bit deeper into this, go over to my blog, artwithviv.com slash blog, that's it, and I have a freebie waiting just for you. And it'll go a little deeper into the process of painting the dog's eye. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.